Hello, welcome. Two words, pasta ribbons. I'm talking about actual ribbons, like ribbon candy, like the kind that your crazy grandma had in her living room. And you would go and there would be that glass jar that you would get into and there would be ribbon candy. As you're making more and more ribbons, you're just, you're getting into this zen frame of mind. Pasta making in general, I think it's so, it's therapeutic. We're using red dough and blue dough. The blue is made from butterfly pea flowers and the red dough is made from roasted red peppers and beets mixed together. The pasta ribbons start with strips of pasta that are about three quarters of an inch wide and about 15 inches long. The strips themselves are made by taking two different colors of pasta dough and cutting one of those pasta doughs into fettuccine length noodles and then laying those fettuccine strips over a base sheet of another color of pasta. Laminating that back together, so pressing it back together, running it through the pasta machine again, and then cutting those into three quarters of an inch width. You'll want to start by just using the paintbrush with a little bit of water here on the end to adhere this to itself. And then once you've got that initial loop done, you will just kind of take your fingers and make the ribbon loop back and forth, back and forth, to and fro until you've gone to the end of your 15 inch strip. Now the next step is really important. You could just leave this on the pasta board and it would dry like this, but when you put this into the boiling water, you can imagine what's gonna happen with your ribbon. It will unfurl in the water and all your hard work will be for naught. So every time these loops join together, everywhere in between those loops, we just wanna use a little bit of water to bind each together. And so I like to take these two skinny dowels because I've got fat fingers. And so these two skinny little dowels hinge each of those little loops shut and that is what makes this shape hold in the water and it's also what makes it absolutely perfect for sauce to just cling and get into all those creases and be fantastically delicious. These ribbons are just so cool and one of the things that people ask does the shape hold? The shape does hold. I think if you're looking at this beautiful plate of pasta ribbons you really do see the endless possibilities for serving. So please join me every week here on YouTube and subscribe down below. I'm Salty Seattle and I will see you next time. Arrivederci.